This is module five, lesson two homework, side two. Number three, Dylan plans to eat one fifth of his candy bar. His four friends want him to share the rest equally. Show how Dylan and his friends can each get an equal share of his candy bar. Let's first look at some important information. We know that Dylan wants to eat one-fifth of the candy bar. We also know that his four friends want him to share it equally. If I have one whole candy bar, I'm sharing it with Dylan plus four more friends. That means a total of five friends will be sharing the candy bar. To divide, I'm going to have to draw four lines to divide my, paste, my candy bar into five equal parts. So I'm going to carefully estimate by drawing four lines what would look like five equal parts. I'm going to label the first part as what Dylan's going to eat. One fifth. The rest of the candy bar will be for Dylan's friends. Number four. Nasir baked a pie and cut it into fourths. Then he cut each piece in half. What fraction of the original pie does each piece represent? Let's draw a picture to show what Nasir did. He baked a pie. So I'm going to draw a circle to represent the pie. Next, he cut that pie into fourths. Fourths are four equal parts. So I will carefully divide the pie into four equal parts. After Nasir cut his pie into fourths, he then cut each piece in half. So going back to the pie, I'm going to cut each piece in half. If I cut half this way, I would not have equal parts. I want to think of the pie just like a pizza and cut each part in half. So I'm continuing to cut in half. When I look at all of these equal parts, I see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. So one fractional part, one part of the pie, would be one eight. Nasir ate one piece of pie on Tuesday and two pieces of pie on Wednesday. What fraction of the original pie was not eaten? So some important information. Nasir is eating one piece of pie on one day, two pieces of pie on another day. We need to figure out what part of the pie was not eaten. If I look at my picture, I can guess that he ate one slice on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, he ate two more slices. To find out what fraction of the original pie was not eaten, I need to count which portions are not colored in. Since these are divided as eighths, I need to label them as eighths. Count the portions that were not eaten, fill them in the blank, and label them as eighths.